This is the Sony Handycam Hi8 XR with steady shot. Model CCD TR940. Does not have a year or date indicated on the stickers, but uh, I printed out the original instruction manual and it says copyright 1998. So it's from around that time. It's uh, 18 times optical zoom, 72 times digital zoom uh, with night shot and steady shot. Five head system hi-fi stereo with laser link. There you can see the three watt halogen bulb. You can turn it on or you can put it in auto which is uh, if you point the camera in a dark area it'll turn on the light and if you point it back towards a bright area it'll turn it back off and you, even if you leave it on it shuts off after five minutes automatically because it the halogen bulb heats up and they actually put a warning on there here's your built-in stereo microphone and the mechanical lens shutter which is linked to the on off switch and you have a fader and auto or manual focus with a wheel to adjust the focus or you can lock it on infinity focus there's your night shot switch and your switch for camera or VTR which is you can either play back your tapes or you can actually record through these inputs here composite and S video and stereo audio there's your stereo microphone jack and stereo headphone jack. There's supposed to be a cover over this, but it doesn't really matter. Here's the tape compartment. Inject button. Cord switch. Record button for a lock. DC power input. Battery socket there. Now this does not have a flip out LCD, so all the buttons are right on it. You get a little um, indicator window. Now it came with this original battery which is dead. But I have this battery from my Digital 8 camcorder which works with it. And you can see the comparison size. This is the smallest one. This was Sony's biggest battery. So uh, it just pops right on here. It has the info lithium battery which has a chip inside it which tells the camera how much battery life it has left down to the exact minute. And you can turn it on into camera mode. And the little LCD lights up. And this is the, the lighting sensor for the color viewfinder. So if you're in daytime it senses it and it makes the, the viewfinder brighter and if you're at night it makes the viewfinder darker. Now I don't know how well this is going to show up through the camera just to get you a view of that color viewfinder. Let me see. And the menus appear through the viewfinder. You get a little wheel to scroll through the menus. And you get your buttons here for uh, backlight exposure, date and time, and the title feature. Here's your switch for um, start-stop mode. Normally, once you push the button, it starts recording, and you push again to stop. But you can also have it so you have to hold it down to record. And also, you can have it so if you push the button, it records for five seconds, and then it stops. Here's your program A wheel, which basically adjusts the exposure and shutter speed for various scenes like portrait, uh, sports, beach and snow. Um, I think that's sunset and night and far away. So, or you can just leave it on auto. There's your, there's your money, menu button and picture effects. Then there's your manual exposure button and wheel. And uh, on top here is your zoom. 
battery release, um, and the playback buttons, which work when you switch it into playback mode, they, they light up. That's about it for the features. Now I have this remote for my uh, digital 8 camcorder, which also works with it. So you get your basic playback and recording controls, uh, counter reset, hold, start, stop, and zoom. And I had to replace this uh, backup battery when I got it because it had the original one in there, which is totally dead. You have a little compartment on the bottom here for the backup battery. I don't know if you can see in there. There's a socket for in there. And just some tapes I picked up at Walgreens. So we'll hit eject here. Pops open and you can put in your tape. It goes back down. And in a second I'll hook up the video to this and I'll show you how it looks through the eyes of this camera. Okay, we're hooked up to the Hi8 camcorder now, and if I hit this button, data screen, you get the indicators of what you see when you look through the viewfinder. So I'll go through the menu here, you get your setting for digital zoom, I usually leave that off. You can put it in a wide mode, your cinema, which just cuts off the top and bottom, or full which um, if you wa watch it back on a widescreen TV you get the full image and you can see it actually expands the field of view a little bit get night shot light which is the infrared light for the night shot you can turn it on or off and the wind screen for the microphone you can actually hear it there it reduces the background noise a little bit recording mode standard or long play now this feature adjusts it to the tape, so when you put in a brand new tape, you hit this button and it sort of calibrates the settings to, to uh, match the tape. You can set your clock, auto date, which um, what it does is the first 10 seconds of your recording, it records the date on the video, uh, but only the first time you make a video that day. If you make several videos in the same day, only the first video will have the the date up here. Or you can set it so the date shows up all the time. And uh, you can make the letters double size or normal. And there's a demo mode, which is the factory demo. You can turn the beeps on or off. You can turn the remote uh, on or off. Recording lamp, which is that little red LED on the front, you can turn that off and you can turn the backlight of the LCD on or off, the little uh, display I showed. Of course you get your zooming and uh, let me show the image effects. Pastel, negative, sepia, black and white, solarize, slim, mosaic, where is it, stretch, that's about it. So nothing too fancy there. And then there's, there's your night shot. And this is the unique one because you can actually control the exposure with night shot. The newer ones, the, I think the year after it made, they made this, they made it so whenever you turn on night shot, the exposure goes all the way up to maximum, which renders it useless in daytime. But this one, you can actually control it. you can actually do picture effects with night shot on, which is kind of crazy. So back to auto exposure, back to normal. And one more thing is that light, which also works with night shot. So let's show the date and time. Date and time. You can turn those off. And you can go through titles. Um, 
I'll show you one I made. Custom title. There's also preset titles. Here's your custom title, and you can you can adjust. Let me see. You can adjust the color. You can adjust the size, large or small, and the position. If you put it down too far, it blocks out the time and date display. So uh, that's about it for the features demonstration of this. So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, there you go. Sony Hi8 XR camcorder from around 1998.